the purpose of this video is to show you how to um, install it up so what I did was I've already marked uh, along those um, two by fours where I want the top to be and I also uh, have a uh, level inside to get it toward uh, declined toward the drain and you see the gaps over there you know uh, that gaps tell me uh, the best way to install the top would be to shim it underneath some people put cement I, I prefer shimming and then foaming uh, the gaps it's easy to do so that's what it looks like you know I put 2 by 4 as you see the top is not going to sit on 2 by 4 it's barely going to touch so the top the top doesn't wobble after it's installed completely so first and foremost I went ahead and installed the uh, you know drain from the top that's going to connect to the to the sewer system so that's what the um, top looks like from the inside you know and I'm gonna and uh, I went ahead and dropped the top in then I put the shims in as you can see underneath and if you look at the level it's it's a decline toward the drain you see working on the top it's not wobbly that means the foam is doing its job So I wanted to give you a close-up view of what the um, underneath plumbing looks like under the tub. So um, this has to be done like this, giving the space. Uh, this tub wasn't there before. I had to install the tub and there wasn't uh, any other way to uh, get this back into the main drain. So it has to be uh, routed out like that. Uh, so right now I'm going to go ahead. I just finished uh, plumbing this PVC piping. I'm going to go and see... Um, test the water you know test the tub with the water so you expose the tub right there uh, I'm going to plug this in and turn the water on to see um, if there's any leak so we're gonna fill up the tub um, and see if this the um, cozy actually works and at the same time, I could look underneath again and see if there's any water leak with any of the piping. So I filled up the tub up to the jetting point to see if there's any water leak. Uh, I'm going to leave it like this for a while. I'm going to turn the jet on and get the water flowing. But before I do that, what I want to do is I want to see if there's any leak from the drain, from the jetting, from the inlet. Uh, if it passes, I'm going to turn the jet on and then I'm going to raise the water level up to the relief valve over here, overflow valve. All right. So far I checked uh, around the tub and uh, there's no leak. So I'm going to turn the, uh, turn the uh, pump on the jacuzzi and see what happens. <laughs> I want to leave the jacuzzi running for a minute or so. Let the water circulate around the um, around these hoses. Let it circulate. Because um, once I'm done with this, I'm not going to be uh, testing it anymore. I'm going to close up everything. So apparently there's no water out there leaking out. So far so good. See, I don't know if you could hear the sound. This is the water flowing down to the drain from the overflow valve. And the water level is decreasing down. And I've checked already there's no leak. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the uh, drain and check for water leak. Well, the water gushed out. Now I let go of the drain. Now we're going to go investigate. Another job well done. Tub emptied out. Looks good. And that's how you install the tub. The foam is working. You saw the uh, tub was filled up to the water. The water level was filled up to the top and you know the phone was still there top didn't wobble or tipple over nothing like that that worked and we checked for the um, water leak and and you see the top empty out
if you found this video useful please don't forget to subscribe like this video and share with your family and friends and thank you for watching